Oh my, the music in this! On just the menu alone, however, I do, I do think I need to perhaps lower it a tiny bit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Valheim Mistlands. I have never played Valheim before, as in ever. I know very little about the game, however, last year, during the summer, my colleague and I were talking about video games, and I was basically told that I would get addicted to Valheim within two hours of playing it. And well, today, at long last, I'm trying out Valheim for the very first time, and we're going to see what happens. Now again, I know very little about Valheim. Uh, I know there's exploration, crafting, I think there's building, and you see it from a top view perspective, I think. Let's just jump into it and see what happens, shall we? Start game, select character. Oh, do I get to make my own character? This will take a while then. <laughs> uh, Neil, obviously. All right. Yep, hair. Uh, obviously I need to, okay. Let me set this up, one second. All right, I think this is going to be my character. I think uh, we have different varieties of beards and hairs and whatnot. I mean, look at some of these. <laughs> <laughs> the animation of them actually makes me laugh. Uh, anyway, I think I'm going to go with that. However, the, I mean the hair is a bit... Uh, not that. Uh, it could be more interesting. Let's go with that. Let's go with that, shall we? Uh, enter name, binary vigilante, of course, and done. Alright, and I guess we just start the adventure. New world. So, as we are on the channel Binary Piglanty, I'm going to name this Bean Land. And if you are interested in getting the exact same seed as me, Land of Bean is my chosen seed. So there we go. I guess we just press start. Let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, he threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, then split the bows that held their prison to- I can't read fast enough for this. <laughs> if you wish to read this, uh, go right ahead. Uh, I can't read this fast. You know, throws that fell out of sight. The greatest of the warriors, dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. At least I got that part. <laughs> oh. We're being- What kind of bird is that? We're being flown in, I guess. Oh, I oh I can oh I'm in the game already. Okay. Uh, this I would consider this dangerous. Is that the ocean? Right. I see trees. I see trees. Okay. I also see either rocks or water. This is very dangerous. I feel extremely dangerous. But I trust I. I trust that the bird will steer me out and away from the lightning source and um, it's safe through the brand. Oh! Oh, I just. You are wet. Wait, you guys don't see that. Hold on. <laughs> it's a, oh, now I have a torch. Oh, now it's a bird. Okay, I think I'm gonna place myself down here. There we go. Alright. Okay, well, I assume. Yep, we do have a map. That's where we started from, so yes, that was indeed the ocean. Um, I can zoom out. I can zoom very in. Almost shoulder view here. I like how you can switch from an like above view, drone view to shoulder view. We also have a torch. Ooh. Okay. We have an inventory. I guess we'll find out. Uh, bird. Talk. Welcome to the 10th World Warrior. I'm Hu Hugin? Hugin? Sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths. That's gonna be a lot of words that I mispronounce here, I apologize. Surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Okay. <laughs> okay. This stone is Vesvisir. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing toward the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ichthyr, your first prey. Right. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. That makes sense. Oh, oh, and now you're just up. Oh, 
Okay. What's this? Register location. Ah. Okay. Okay. Now what do we do? Oh, the Torchester ability. <laughs> okay, so I can collect items. As we can see there. Um. Oh, and Q just makes you walk forward. Okay, that's cool. Ah, hold up. Tab is our inventory here. So we have inventory. We got Valheim Compendium. So I guess that's... Yeah, f active effects, message log. Okay, messages essentially. Skills. Trophies, of which I have none. And friendly fire enabled and disabled. So I can craft a club. However, I need more wood. I clearly need more wood. So that is exactly what I'm going to try and find. Oh, the bird is over here. I should probably follow the bird. I, I didn't see it land there. I saw it. Anyway. Take stock of your inventory. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it will come back to you, I'm sure. <laughs> My lesser brother, Munin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. I mean, that makes sense. I know that from Minecraft, which um, I suppose I died in, and that is considered Midgard around here, maybe? Uh, we shall find out. I need I need wood. Oh, skill improved. Skill improved. Nope, that's trophies. Uh, fr that's friendly fire. I should have known this by now. Run. Ah, speed and seven that rain when running. So the more I do a certain action, the better I become at it. That makes sense. Another branch. And another one. Yeah, I'm getting good at this already. There we go. Branch. That's a building. I want to check that out. Okay. So if I go to inventory again. And I can craft a club. And this is my new weapon of choice. So I can place this here and do that. What's this? Rack tunic. Alright. Uh, so I need stone. Which I assume. That's the wrong assumption. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm missing something here. Uh, right. Stone. How would one get stone? How would one get stone? I'm afraid... See, I, I'm afraid I'm, mi I'm missing the bird. Because it was over there, but I didn't really see where it went. I mean, there's... A oh, stones. Right. New crafting recipe. Got it. Stone axe. So I need four stones and five wood. That should be easy enough to get around these parts. Ooh. That, no, no. Okay. Guess it's guess it's falling. Oh yeah, by the way, just to show you, there are some commands down there. So I guess I'll run with this setup. Alright. Yes, I'm... Oh, Boris. Hopefully they will not attack. They do attack. They do attack me. The calm music is no longer fitting. I need to... Okay, can I fight this? I don't know if I can fight. This is my first combat mission. <laughs> I don't know if... Uh, I'm not ready for this, I don't think. I don't think I'm ready for this. Oh, maybe I am. Maybe I am. I guess I will need food at some point. Have you been there the entire time? You have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you will grow hungry again, so try and always have at least a couple of different meals ready. Okay, I guess it showed up because I just killed this thing. Um, can I eat it raw? Uh, eat it? No? Can, do I do that from the inventory? I don't know how to eat. <laughs> This could be a problem. Well, what I wanted to get was these stones so I could craft myself an axe. But I now need a little bit more wood. Oh, there's more boars over there. That's a lot of boars. I don't want to deal with that many boars. Also, there's stamina. Oh, yeah. Obviously, there's stamina from what I've read. But the stamina bar is down there. Okay, that makes sense. What on earth are you? <laughs> I don't like you very much. I will kill. Resin. Oh, I can craft torches now. Okay. Ooh, what's this? What's this? This seems... You are exposed. No kidding. 
What have we got here? We got anything? Oh yeah, plenty of stones. So I'll take that. Plop, plop, plop. Oh, that's... Uh, I'm not gonna hit that. What did I just step into? Poison... I died. <laughs> I'm ten minutes into playing this game. I mean, I guess that's fair. I have never played this before. Um, so, basically, my... Okay. Uh, you suffered a mortal blow. Each time you are struck down, you will forget a small part of your abilities and drop your belongings at the side of the accident. I like that it says accident. Right. If you wish you were home by now, I'd recommend building a bed wherever home may be. Got it. That's good to know that I can actually build that. Thank you. Oh, I can't jump. Ooh, okay. I love being able to jump in games. Okay. Items recovered. Thank you. Have I lost everything? No, I haven't. Good. I can make an axe now. I can also make a hammer. With this in your hand, you can raise high walls and mighty fortifications. Okay, I like that. I like being able to do that. That is nice. Um, I do need to remember that I do have the map. There's also the house back there. What's this? I got berries? Raspberries. Hey, I'll take some raspberries and some, <laughs> and some rocks while I'm at it. Raspberries are nice. Those are handy. Um, you know, I wanted to eat and try and, um, you know, heal. However, that wasn't as easy. Maybe because it has to be cooked first? I don't know. Maybe I wasn't even supposed to find those boars before I had the the axe, which I now do have. And I assume... Hold on. Usually you make an axe to chop down trees. Wood cutting. Yes. This is just gonna take a while, I think. I don't know how long. I'm just gonna keep pressing this. It'll fall eventually. Ah, there we go. Perfect. I can lower the axe. Oh dear, that's gonna... That's gonna... Don't get any closer. I have an axe. I don't know if the axe is a good weapon. I don't think it is. Oh wow, it died instantly. <laughs> Maybe the axe is a good weapon. Uh, now what do I do? Uh, log. So I guess I chop the log even further? I mean, that would make sense. Chopping it into pieces. Come on. I assume I'll... Okay, so that gets it in half. Oh, and that damages the other tree. Okay, that's cool. So now I guess I probably split it into another piece and then those pieces into wood planks or pieces that I can use for making a hammer for yourself. Oh, nope. There we go. Oh. Okay, I like the process of that. You know, in Minecraft I'm used to uh, destroying blocks and then those blocks crafting them into planks and whatnot. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. Uh, but I like this process. Much more realistic. <laughs> there we go. And with that, I can now go ahead and make myself a hammer. Now. Do I place that? I don't know what happened. Where are my berries? There's my berries. Twelve of them. Uh, can I... Oh, I right-click in here and then I use... It lasts for 10 minutes, maybe? You can't eat more raspberries. Okay, so I guess you can eat three different types of food. Okay. You have crafted a hammer. With this tool, you will raise mighty walls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This, in turn, will be enable you to construct other things. Ooh. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, will I do it right here, though? Will I do it right here, or am I going to move to different grounds? I like having the high ground, because... Um, that is nice. Have I just gone in one big circle? What is this? Oh, that's where I need to go. I think to defeat that thing. And that's boss. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. Away from that. Whatever that is. Um, okay, that's not a boar. Alright. Let's see here. Um, yes. Holding this. Ah, right click. Okay, so I can make a campfire. I can make the workbench. Cooking station. Building and furniture. Okay. I almost want to make the campfire, but I'll, I'll listen to the tutorial. I'll make a workbench. I assume I can rotate. Yep. Mouse wheel. I'm going to do it right here. Catching. Uh, how do I... Ah, three. There we go. Okay. I see a bunch of recipes. 
It brings items. You have built a workbench. The workbench allows you to craft complex items, as well as giving you access to lots of more building pieces to construct with the hammer. Okay, that's good to know. Let's take a look at that. Crafting station needs a roof. Crafting station needs a roof, huh? Okay, let's see here. Uh, that, that's not, that's not, hold on. Uh, mouse of three. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> missing requirement. Now I'm missing wood. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I, I got the wood. I got the wood. Okay. Uh, place. And then. Build menu. Got it. So, miscellaneous. I can make walls. I can make fences. I can make a raft. Okay. And a building and furniture, as well as a bed. Okay, I clearly need to get to work here and chop down a ton of trees. I'll be right back. Tree! Whoa! Okay, and now I'm being attacked as well. Okay. Railing, please disappear. I'm getting good at this. Right? Oh, that's another one. Why are the two of you? I mean, I'll take the fight. You can't even touch me. Look at this. You can't touch me. I'm basically a pro of this, right? Valheim pros, leave a comment down below. Am I good? <laughs> Am I any good at this? <laughs> Wait a minute. Mouse 3 secondary attack. Please tell me that I haven't been able to do that this entire time. I want it to be true. Hold on. Okay, so that just does more damage. Sometimes. But it's not a one-hit thing and then it all converts. So which is faster, I wonder? I don't know. I can't reach. This is a problem. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Hold on. I mean... That's eight. That's nine. So if I use special attack... That's also nine. 14, but you can't do it as often. 17, though. Hmm. Maybe I'll alternate. Who knows? All right. I have a bunch of wood now, I feel like. 50 out of 50 in that stack, as in fact. Uh, so, I assume my axe is almost broken as well. And I feel like I'm running slower as well, which makes total sense. I can't jump as high either. All right, good. Uh, needs a roof. So I basically need to build a house. That's how I am currently understanding this. So I am going to do so. Um, um, I mean, I would do it right here, but the workbench is kind of in the way. So, and it's a very rocky terrain. You know what? Let's just select the hammer. Open the build menu. Uh, we can make a chest and a bed. Okay. Building. Uh, wooden wall. I feel like it is, you usually start with the flooring. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna do it down, mm, am I gonna do it down here though? Am I gonna do it down here? That is the issue. Actually, I'm gonna do it right next to the tree. I love this tree. Um, I'm gonna build it right here. Boom. Can I snap? Yes, I can snap onto it. Okay, beautiful. I'm not looking to build a mansion here. All right, I'm just looking to build something that can house my crafting table. You know, a simple things like that. I like to live simple. There we go. Do that. Right, perfect. Now we just need to get some walls down. Can I make windows? I can't make windows. Half wall though. Well, that's not a window. That's not really. Ooh. Oh, that's a gate. Well, I'm definitely going to be needing a door. Obviously, I'm going to place that right there. Um, and seeing it as I can't really make... Oh, you can. Oh. Oh, you can turn them. Okay, that's kind of... That's actually neat. I like it. Anyway, it is getting dark, which is um, not good, I would assume. Usually, it's not good when it's dark. So, I just want to get this actually done... <laughs> ASAP. Uh, and I just realized I'm doing this primarily to get the crafting thing to work. All right. Good. So, open door. Close door. Open hammer. Remove. I'm going to open it into miscellaneous crafting. Crafting bench. Going. I can't move. I can't open. Hold on. Open. Jump. Close. Place. And ka-ching. Would you look at that? 
All right, miscellaneous. Uh, campfire inside a house, I don't feel like it's usually a good idea. But I mean, maybe it's fine, guys. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, it can't be on this. Okay, that's fine. I am going to place it out here because I want a campfire. Believe it or not, I want a campfire. So I'm going to build a campfire right at the top here, signaling, signaling everyone that I listen, I am here, I exist. Please don't kill me. <laughs> uh, okay, I need to make a bed. I need to make a bed. Furniture, I can't make a bed, I'm missing wood. This is what I was afraid of. Sun is going down and I need to go in the woods to chop wood when it's dangerous outside. I mean, I assume that's danger. I don't know if there actually is any danger, but I would assume there is. Because when is there not? Timber! Oh dear me. And also, hello. Hello. What are you gonna do, huh? Hey, what are you, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Steal my log? No, you're not. Did I take full damage? I mean, it would make sense. Oh, I'm cold. I feel cold. Oh. I thought that was some weird monster coming towards me that was twice as big as everyone else, and now my axe broke. Oh dear me, I need a stone axe, please craft. You know what, I could have probably repaired this other one. Is that possible? I don't know. I'm going to drop it. There we go. And I'm never picking it back up again. Never. Ever. Ever. Alright, let's see what this bird has to say. Uh, be wary of the weather when the temperature drops at night or if you are wet you will suffer from being cold This reduces your stamina regeneration seeking shelter by an open flame is your best option when this happens Good to know. Thank you. All right. I will do as the bird told me to However, I'm going to open my door. I really want You could eat another bite. I will. There you go Extra uh, eat another raspberry is it? No, that's a raspberry. It just looked like a strawberry to me. All right, let's open this. Let's go to... Nope, furniture. Bed. I want bed. I'll place it here. Look at this humble abode. Standing with torch. I'll do that in the corner. Look at that craftsmanship. Okay, uh, I need a roof. A thatch roof. Um, uh, don't... Da, di, ba, do, ba, do ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, maybe maybe <laughs> uh let's see here what else kind of uh wood wall that would be this i would assume ah wait a minute ah maybe i'm supposed to build these first That could be the case. However, I am not sure of this. Um, don't worry, we will do other things than just building in this episode. <laughs> by the way, uh, let's 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 play some more roofs. Can I like? Oh yeah, I can. Perfect. So as long as you have a missing requirement, that's fine. That's fine. I know how to do it now. All right, bird. I'm gonna close that behind me. What do you got? Address for the wary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. It is good practice to always have some spare equipment if something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring. Thanks for the hint that I'm going to die very soon. <laughs> okay. Uh, I definitely want to make a chest. However, again, I need wood. So why don't we do this? I'm going to bed as to exp... <laughs> I need the roof, don't I? I need the roof. Someone build me a roof, dang it. Yeah, I know I feel cold. Some bird told me to sleep, but I can't. Okay, at least there are some open locks here. I I like how the fog is on the minimap as well. However, it is a little bit scary. Free wood. And we got a visitor. Hello there. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna try and... D okay, that didn't work. Nah, don't attack me. Ow! Go away! Go away! I will not die to you again. I will not die. Go away. 
and stamina is definitely gonna be an issue when doing real fighting. Timber! Oh. Seriously? I mean. I hear more sounds from the forest. I don't like this. This is not safe. This is really not safe. I just want to sleep, but I need... How many trees was that? One? Uh... One? I chopped one, and then this split... This came down and split into two. Then this fell down, and this fell down. Huh. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, so I just... I, I'm just re gen regenerating my mana so I... Mana? Stamina, so I can chop this log. But while I was doing that, I looked at the map. And I hadn't actually um, scrolled all the way out yet. That is huge. Imagine if there was a different planet. That would be. That would be interesting. Who's there? Go away. That's my axe. I'm not picking it up. Not happening. E nope. All right. Let me uh, let me finish this build real quick, and you'll see that it's going to happen at lightning speed. You won't even notice that I stop and cut this out. Uh, yes. Hold up. What is... Okay, that's kinda scary. What is that? What tree is this? I have not looked up yet. What is that? <laughs> Someone tell me what that tree is. That is creepy. I'm building my house basically under a giant branch that could break any minute. Look, it has energy sparkle breakings or something. Oh boy. This just got even more scary. But it's fine. I can take it. And I think this is my house completed, ladies and gentlemen. Masterpiece. I can use the workbench, I can use the bed, I can claim it, I can sleep in it. However, because I'm a gamer, we don't sleep at night. We look at what interesting new things that we have gotten. Workbench, upgrade, stone pickaxe, the stone, stone axe. <laughs> we can upgrade it, so that's cool. So we can make wooden arrows, we can make a tunic, pants. That would probably be a good idea. What do I have? Tunic. So I'm not wearing any pants. Good to know. Uh, so I need uh, some more leather scraps. Basically, more boars. I can make a bow. And a shield. Bow is more leather. A farmer's tool. Ooh. And a, and a wooden shield. Basically, I just need a bunch of leather. Got it. Day two has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and as... We're in the wilderness. We don't sleep. Um, we need to use the sun to our advantage. Which means boars. Which means I need to go back to the stone hands that I originally came from and got dropped off by... A very interesting looking bird. Now here's a very important thing here. What on earth is that? I don't know. I know what the grayling is though and he could die. Anyway. And I will of course pick up branches as we go along. It's important not to run in this game, I'm pretty sure, because if you do so, like if you just keep running and all of a sudden you see one of those fellas right in front of us that needs a slaying, well, then you won't be able to do so due to um, missing the stamina. If you all of a sudden need to fight, you can't do it. You can't do it. But it's not good. I'm gonna eat another raspberry, because apparently that also improves my stamina. That's good. Now, if I remember correctly, there were boars in this direction. I'm pretty sure there was anyway. Yeah, right by this rock. We do have a boar indeed. We have many over there. Oh, we actually have one there and one there. Yeah. Ow. Okay, two hit. That's good. So what did I get for that? Food and... How much? I'm not getting any... Oh, there we go. This. Right there. 
need to get like uh, why I need to get like uh, 20 I feel like if we go to other thing yeah 20 is probably a good number I also see is that those rocks I assume those are nope those are mushrooms I think these are mushrooms can't see for the branch zoom in shoulder mode GoPro mode activated right uh, okay that's another boar yeah, let's try and play the game in, in this uh, in this mode right here. Ow! Okay, you are a lot tougher. Oh, you do have a star on you. Okay, and I died. Did my arm just get... We won't worry about it. We spawn back in! You know? It's, uh... It's fine. It's a less... Oh. It's a lesson, you know. It's about oh, it's misty. It's about the lessons and the things that we learn along the way. Can I please have my raspberry? Thank you. See, we learn from these things. That's how you should approach this. Oh, look at deer! Hey, deer! Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. Well, yet. I may have to if I need food. <laughs> Alright, closing in on the death area. I almost had that born. I should have gotten it. But again, it is the lessons that we get from these situations, right? In my case, take a closer look at your enemy. Take a closer look at the enemy. There's uh, three boars here. Um, that's my death thingy. I also feel like I should use a better weapon than a club. Now, which one of these actually attacked me and killed me? Because I wouldn't mind getting me some revenge. What do we have over here? I haven't been in this. Oh, that's a big drop. That's not where I want to go. That would be very bad. All right. Um, boars. That's one. Oh, you're the one. You're the one. Get over here, you. Get over here. There we go. You better give me some extra. Okay, it gave me two. What's this? Runestone. Read. This land is hard and wild, but we who are brought here are harder still. Take comfort, traveler, in the gifts before you, the good wood and stone, the fruits and the flowers of the forest. Look also to the wild boar who roam these lands. They fear fire and the hand of man, but they can be taught to obey it. Go quietly to them and let them eat of your stock. Roots of the ground are their pleasure. Very interesting. Can I... there we go. Oh, I can crouch. Okay. I mean, that's a very important thing to know that I can. I'm sneaking in to my prey. And I am attacking, apparently. Please don't kill me. There we go. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. Uh, I can soon make a bow, so that's good. I just need to get a lot of these. Um... Hopefully, I'm not making a mistake by killing all of them in the area. Um, I heard things. It's very, very misty. Oh, you again. Hello, Grayling. Get away here. Die, please. Thank you. And give me your resin. Alright. And stones. Now I can craft a hoe. Potentially set up a farm. That would be cool if I can become a farmer. Wouldn't mind that. Just casually exploring, actually. That's cool. I mean, I haven't gone far away from my area yet. Ooh, lots of berries. I mean, currently, they are my primary source of food. And I will not complain. Raspberries are delicious. Oh, another rune. You better not be trapped or something weird. Let's see what we got. I was Astrid, a shield maiden of the forest. I know nothing of my life before I came here, but my arm remembers the sword and my eyes see the course of the arrow. Now the raven guides me and I fight the great beasts. Alright, well, I too am fighting great beasts. Um, well, trying to anyway. I have died to a boar, but we won't talk about that. Alright, well, I have not met all the boars that I wanted to meet. Uh, can I remove... Can I remove... Oh, I can remove death. Death never happened. 
it never happened. It's very hard to hunt when it's very hard to see <laughs> anything. <laughs> I see a deer, but I don't want to fight the deer. Also, it runs away from me. I need a bow for that. Well, that's why I need the leather. I need the leather to... <sighs> this game is actually very peaceful, you know? Like the music, the graphics and everything. I might actually be addicted and I'm only 40 minutes in. <laughs> Uh, right. I might not be finding any more boars. Oh, no mind. That's one. There we go. Get more leather. Just one. That's totally fine. You can also eat a raspberry. And I see another boar. See, now I'm, I'm checking for the star. Because if it has a star, I know it's going to be tough. However, when it doesn't, it's fairly easy. Just like that. However, I think I want to go back now and try and craft some things, especially that hoe. If I can get a food source of some sort going, that would be pretty cool. I just realized I spent a lot of time setting up my house. I just remember that was a house back at the Stonehenge. Um, I could have possibly just gone for that, but I went a step further and well, got to this stage now, right? So, I can make arrows. I just need wood for that, so that's fine. I can make a hoe, I can make a shield. I feel like a shield is probably going to be the most important thing for me. I can't make a bow yet, due to the leather. I can make a hoe, which I'm going to go ahead and make. Boom, perfect. Now, that was interesting. I'll read that in a moment. Um, pants. Ooh, I should make some pants, actually. But I need... F um, do we get the shield? Okay, let's take a look at the shield. So we have two different ones. Uh, block armor 6, block armor 10, block force 100, block force 20. Parry bonus 1.5 times. Movement speed minus 20%. I think we've got to go for this one. And um, I'm not sure how I'm going to equip this. Uh, so if I just go outside... Can't I make any better weapons? Not as such. What about the club? Bone fragments, right. Yeah, I'm not I'm not quite there yet. Uh, so let's see. If I equip this, press 5. Okay, so I press 1 and 5, and then I can block with this, and I can quickly attack, and then I can block again, and I can attack right after. Yeah, that's good. Oh, bird. I thought it was an enemy I could test it on, but no, it is just you. You have crafted a hoe. This tool is used for landscaping. You could say it is the perfect complement to the hammer. Use it to clear the ground and manipulate the terrain. It is easier to create buildings on a level ground. Oh, so that's so that's what it is. Oh, hello. Uh, so that's what it is. Um, yeah, I didn't quite know that. Uh, place, remove a build menu. So I can level. I can level the ground. I can raise the ground. And I can path them? Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I didn't exactly know that. I thought the hoe would be able to like make a farm and whatnot. But that's cool. Can I path here? Uh if I hold down the button maybe? I wanna lead a path this way. If I can. Well, I can. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. That looks nice. Then, then, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't, I don't need the hoe. I need the, I need the hammer. If I go ahead, furniture, wooden torch, place one right there. Then another one over here. Yeah, I like that. We could have the path going back this way, something. Yeah, I like this. That's good. That's cool. I probably don't need the hoe selected right there. There we go. Alright. A shield allows you to block incoming damage. If your timing is perfect, the enemy may also be parried. Be careful though. If you block too many hits, you will become staggered. Is that how you pronounce it? The amount of damage you can block before becoming staggered depends on your maximum health. So if you plan on tanking a lot of damage, you should eat food that increases your health. Heavier shields will block more damage, but will also slow you down. Uh, thank you very much for that tip. Alright, before this video becomes too long, I think I should try and go ahead and get to 
this eighth tier. However, before I do that, I should probably make a chest because I might not be coming back alive. I need wood. How about before I do that, I go ahead and get some wood and then we go ahead and visit that place. I might not come back alive, but that's what we're going to find out. Right. I want this spore. However, it is close to the sign on the minimap. Been worried about that part. Ow. Please don't. I just want leather. I basically just want some pants. I would love a bow. But I want some pants. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Enough for some pants, and then I need to heal back at the house, and then we're gonna head on over to that place. I wonder, I have all this meat. If I press 4, can you spawn meat on fire? Fair enough. Very fair. Alright, workbench, no. Work, workbench, no. I just need the hammer. The chest, do it have, do it have, a, do it have a front? Yes, that's grammar. Alright, place that. And then I'm going to place in the things that I'm not going to need, such as a split stack. No, just transfer all. Isn't there a fast? Okay, control. Uh, wrap tunic. What if I place? I haven't even equipped it. I've never equipped the tunic. Wow. Uh, I assume I can cook these. That may be a wrong assumption. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and craft myself some pants. There we go. Now I have pants and a tunic, which I have never equipped. <laughs> I'm also going to put uh, the meat. How much meat do I need is the question. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll place my berries in here. Actually, I'll eat one. I'll also eat this. I can't eat this. That would make sense. So that is useless to me. Uh, good. I think I have everything I need except for the hammer. Don't eat that. I also want a new club, just in case. And I'm not going to put bring dax because there's no need. There's absolutely no need. Uh, can I go ahead and make a club? I need wood that I placed in here. <laughs> I just want to make an extra club, just, you know, so I don't get into trouble. I'll bring the torch. That's fine. Put that in there. Uh, I'll eat. Can I eat another raspberry? Nope. Can't eat more raspberries. I'll bring those. That's fine. And I should be able to... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Can I equip this? Equipping pants. There we go. Okay. Good stuff. It's still in my inventory. Hopefully it provides a little bit of protection. Alright, rest it. Don't know what that simple means. I guess that's regeneration maybe. Perfect timing to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going, I was about to say attack this place because I, I assume it's going to be a battle of some sort. But we're going to find out. Again, I need to... Save my stamina. Actually, I might wait. I might wait. Sleep. Because I haven't slept yet. Get some well-earned rest. And then we'll get to it. Bed needs a nearby fire. Are you kidding me? Uh, seriously? Open door? Hmm. Can I put a... Hold on. Can I put a fire in here? Well, I need the resources, obviously, which I don't have. All right. This is a good time to test my shielding tactics. Boom. And then bam, bam, bam. Freeze. Perfect. <laughs> All right. I like that. Good stuff. Test complete. Look at that. Beautifully handled. Oh, another rune. I'm here for stones, but I'll take a rune. Blue-eyed shufflers in Mark the Neck are small lizards native to Valheim. Surely and mean-spirited, they will attack on sight and must be destroyed like vermin. <laughs> wow. They stay near water because the creatures of the land loathe and... Uh, uh, I can't pronounce that. Abhor them? Ab abhor them. Yet no creature is all bad. Their tails are deli... The last they take... That's it, okay. Their tails, apparently, are delicious. I... No comment. I feel cold. Yeah, no kidding. I'm trying to find... There we go. Find some... Found some stones and also bad guys. Hello. Again. 
My test says you're running away because you're too scared. I took you out of this. There we go. Boom. Good stuff. More stones. I think I should have enough now. I see my fire in the distance. All right. Yes, it appears that it is impossible to place a fireplace inside a house. So how on earth would I bring this bed close to a fire? I am slightly confused. Maybe that works. There we go. That worked. Just had to be close to the house. Hopefully the house won't burn down. However, I don't know that. It could happen. It could also not. I don't know. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are going to be attempting something very dangerous. Oh, I already had... I already had stone on me. And I could have just... I forgot you got the resources when you broke that. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're going to war. I have five minutes left of my raspberry. Hopefully that's enough. We're going to... Well, I like say we're going to war. It might as well just be another runestone. We're going to this place. I don't know what to expect, but I'm equipping my shield. I'm equipping my club. It is very close to my house, so hopefully it's not something that explodes and uh, kills everything around it. Uh, actually, I should be able to see here. I hear... Okay, the bird is here, so that's at least something. That must be in the safe. Calling forth the beast. You have found the summoning place of one of the forsaken. Make the correct offering at their altar and they will come. Be wary though. The forsaken are not easy prey. To craft a wicked weapon, don your finest armor and eat a hearty meal before engaging them in combat. That's not exactly what I've done. Let's read the rune stone. Hunt his kin. That's scary. I don't know what that means. Oh, Mr. Color Alter. Does that mean it wants skin or meat? It just says hunt. Oh, the deer. Okay. That makes sense. Right. Well, that complicates things, doesn't it? All right. This, I think, is what we are going to do. I played this game now for, wait for it, 50. 56 minutes and honestly yes I am kind of addicted to this <laughs> it's actually really really fun and enjoyable and also very relaxing and the time has flown by and I really want to try and summon that thing so in the next episode the plan is to make a bow then hunt down the deer and then try and offer something, something, summon. It's going to be cool, interesting. I was going to say cool, but if I die, it's not going to be as cool. So that is the plan. Also, maybe explore that mystery house that's down here. That would also be very beneficial. So with that said, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And I hope you have enjoyed watching me play Valheim. If you have any tips or anything like that, be sure to let me know down below in the comments because that is very much appreciated. As you can probably tell, I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss episode 2 where we do all that that I said. And I hope to see you in the next one. Oh, that's a thumbnail almost right there. I'll figure that out later. Have a wonderful day and until next time, goodbye. <laughs>